Well, goodness, where is everybody? I guess they're, they didn't set their clock, right? Uh, <laughs> You, you know, do you, you know what the most important, why today is as important it is as it is? We only have four more times we have to go spit in that cup. If, if, if you've already done it today. Otherwise, you got five times. I got four more times I got to go spit in that cup. Ah. I've had, I know, I've had, I can't understand that. If you've had the thing, you don't have to go get spit in the cup. If you've had the shots, you still have to go spit in the cup. And I've had the shots, but I still go spit in the cup. Okay. Um, well, they're starting to drag in a little bit. You, did you set your clock this morning, uh, over the weekend? Oh, he did. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Um, Hmm. It, uh, let's see. Chairman Smyrie, would you open us with prayer, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We have that you continue to watch over us, continue to be with us, continue to drive us in the right direction. We ask that you bless this state, bless this nation. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, is Representative Mathis outside? I'm sure he is. He's been here since 7 o'clock this morning. Now, he wasn't sitting out there the whole time. But uh. Good morning, sir. Hold on a second. Go. All righty, I'm here for House Bill 703, uh, provide probate judge Blakely County nonpartisan election. That's the bill. Anybody have a question? Seeing none. Thank you, sir. You got 704. Yes, sir. House Bill 704 is nonpartisan. Provide for Magistrate Blackie County. Okay. See no questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, Senator Burke. Morning, Senator. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Y'all having fun across the hall? You know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. At least uh, We don't either. <laughs> we don't take y'all real serious either. So. As it should be. As it should be. <laughs> so we, we got uh, Senate Bill 46. Thank you, sir. This is a, a bill from the... Uh, from the Department of Public Health that modernizes the vaccine code. I'll be glad to answer questions, Mr. Chairman. Gosh, I don't, oh, hold on a second. Chairman Martin. I exercised my degree in medicine this morning. Uh, Senator, over here, I, I had a constituent send me a, a, a question and a concern uh, on lines 51 through 53 of the bill um, about individual vaccination information regarding person without the consent of the person's uh, parents or guardians. Can you address why that's needed and how that doesn't infringe? I'll be glad to. Uh, the language in that section is uh, related to the, uh, the new COVID vaccination, which is uh, uh, considered experimental at this time. And the CDC requires us to give certain information to them in order for us to actually get the vaccine. So this allows public health to send that limited information to, to, to uh, uh, CDC. The uh, other language about the identification is on other vaccination programs, uh, parents can opt out for their children for some of that uh, demographic information putting it, being put into grits but because the contract with CDC for us to get the COVID vaccine, we've got to give them some limited information. Follow up, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, go ahead. I, I think that's the question. I mean, limited information, I understand, but individually identifiable vaccination information, that doesn't sound very limited to me. Individually identify, I mean, how is that not 
without a parent's consent, how is that not in conflict with HIPAA? Well, my understanding, well, uh, with the HIPAA, we uh, can share information with health entities, and the CDC would be a health entity. So HIPAA doesn't apply when we're talking about okay. health entities. But my understanding is the requirement for the CDC for this is a birth date. I'm sorry? Is a birth date. That's what they, we have to fill in. So it's not name, address, phone number, but it is a birth date. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I guess I'll do some research, give them offline. I just it, look, I'll look for the definition of individually identifiable information. That seems to describe to me more than the, simply the birth date. A okay. birth date wouldn't be individually drilled down, but I get with him out. Right, sure Chairman the Jaspers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just to want to back up, um, Senator Burke, Chairman Martin, in the committee, um, Myself, Chairman Barr, leader, floor leader Lott, myself, really honed in on that line that you're talking about. Senator and DPH satisfied our concerns very easily. They did a really good job explaining why it needed to be in there. I just wanted to put our two cents worth in there. Okay. See no more questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for having me. <laughs> okay. I guess now we can set the calendar for tomorrow. Now, for, for you rules chairmen who are in here, and most of you are, and for those rules chairmen who are watching on TV, if you accidentally find a good Senate bill, let's go ahead and get it out. Um, because, you know, we're in the, uh, let's see, 30, we got nine days left. Uh, we, we're not in the two minute drill yet, but we're getting close. Um, so if you, if you accidentally find a good Senate bill, let's go ahead and get it out. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and set tomorrow's calendar. Senate Bill 46. Do I hear a move? Move, move and a second. All in favor say aye. All opposed, like sign. That's the calendar for tomorrow. Thank you all.